Hello and welcome to Soda Tasting, an online show dedicated to soda reviews and appreciation. I'm Patrick O'Keefe. On today's episode, I'm going to be trying Old Town Chocolate Fudge Soda. Now that's Old Town with an E at the end, T-O-W-N-E. I was given this soda by Michael Kimsel, who is an acquaintance of mine who has been checking out the show. Um, I recently spoke at a conference that he organized in Raleigh, North Carolina called IndieConf. That's I-N-D-I-E-C-O-N-F dot com. And it was a great event, had a lot of fun, um, bought some soda, was able to meet up with my friend Jonathan Bailey, who I then had on the show, Soda Tasting, uh, if you might have seen those episodes. Um, Michael Kimsel uh, also runs an online community for freelancers, freelance web developers, and, and so on, um, at FreelancePath.com. So check that out, and uh, I really appreciate this soda, which I hadn't heard of before, um, which will be the first chocolate soda we've had on Soda Tasting. So this is from Old Town Beverages. They're in Dearborn, Michigan. And um, in 12 ounces, this bottle, as you can see, is a, is a little bigger than 12 ounces. It's actually a liter, 33.8 ounces. And it'll, in 12 ounces, though, you get um, 105 calories. It's caffeine-free, and it's sweetened with high-fructose corn syrup and Ace-K. So that's kind of why I guess the calorie count is lower, because they use one of those um, sweeteners that uh, you tend to see in, um, you know, Low ca lower calorie sodas. At least that's what I've seen. So I've only had an Ace Case soda once here on the show, and I didn't really like it. I didn't like the aftertaste of it. It was Pepsi X actually, but uh, I'm, I'm interested to give this a, give this a try and see you know what a chocolate soda tastes like, um, and whether or not I like this particular chocolate soda. And again, it's chocolate fudge soda. So I mean, I don't know if that's you know chocolate fudge is different from chocolate. It's a form of chocolate. My mom makes really good fudge, so I don't think this will compare to that. But, curious to see what it tastes like. Oh, no, Michael. Michael, Michael, Michael. What did you do to this soda? No. Um, the show must go on. And it's weird, the one show where I decided to wear a white shirt. Like, because I usually don't do that. Because I'm like, you know, it's going to happen. The soda's going to explode. And I'm going to get it all over the white shirt. But I had to wear a white shirt this time. And sure enough, um, it's on my white shirt. But... I'll work on cleaning after this episode has completed. Now, you know, I smell chocolate. Um, you know, it's, there's definitely a chocolate smell there. And um, let's see, did I actually manage to land some in the glass, believe it or not? So, you know, there's a chocolate there. I mean, I don't know how to describe this chocolate. It's not like you smell a Hershey bar chocolate, but it's like a beverage chocolate. Like... If you've had chocolate in beverages before, you get that smell. That's that's sort of what this is. I've had a chocolate soda once before, just not on the show, and it's that same kind of smell. So, mess aside, let's uh, let's take a taste. It's ridiculous too because I literally let the soda sit for for a while before we even do any tasting of it. It's not like I go shake it up off camera and then bring it on camera to make some sort of big joke. Um, I don't. I'd rather avoid this, especially with any soda that's not clear. You know, I get something else on top of that chocolate smell. Almost like a beer-like smell, like a, I don't know, that whole, like, hops type of smell to it. Alright, so let's see what we got. Yeah, once again, you get that aftertaste. Like, I don't know if that's specifically tied to Ace K, but it's something I've noticed in the, in the Pepsi X and now with chocolate fudge soda. There's like this syrupy, sticky aftertaste. And it's not just because I'm sticky on the outside right now. Chocolate taste is okay. It's not great. The aftertaste kills it. For me, any kind of chance of liking it, I just don't. That, that aftertaste just kind of sticks with you. It's unpleasant, and I don't like it. And because of that, I'm going to give this soda a 1.5 out of 5. Just not a big fan of it. But I am curious about chocolate sodas, and I would love to hear um, the chocolate sodas that you like. Please leave me a comment on YouTube or on SodaTasting.com so that I can you know, maybe get those sodas and have them here on the show, and hopefully they don't explode all over me. Um, 
I'd like to have you subscribe to the show if you want to receive every show automatically. You can do that via sodatasting.com. As always, everything in moderation.